on New Canadians Today, we're delving into the intricate steps of the Canadian immigration process. And to tell us all about it, we have with us Barbara Jo Caruso, an immigration lawyer and co-president of the Canadian Immigration Lawyers Association. Welcome, Barbara. Thank you. Good to be here. So you will be sharing your insights. Let's start with uh, if someone wants to move to Canada, what are some of the key eligibility requirements that they need to meet? Well, um, it's sort of like dating. You, you need to be young. Um, you need to be educated. Uh, you need to speak and read one of the official languages of, of Canada. And you need some skills. You, you need to have some past work experience. So um, it's a package. Mm -hmm. To elaborate, can you tell us about some of the different immigration programs? Yes, well, there are many. Uh, I think there's over 130 pathways to permanent residence. So it's impossible to tell you about all of them. But in terms of my top three, um, they would be the federal skilled worker category, the Canadian experience class category, and the um, federal trade skills uh, category. So those are three categories and they're all managed under a system called express entry. It would be great if you could walk us through the main steps of the Canadian immigration process as well. Sure. So there's primarily three. The first is creating a profile. Uh, the second is getting an invitation from the Canadian government to apply. And then the third is making your application uh, and then waiting for it to be processed. So um, when you're creating a profile, you first have to determine if you qualify. So you may have to have some assessments done, your language, your education, get uh, your work experience uh, determined. Um, and then you create the profile. And uh, then every couple of weeks, the uh, government of Canada invites uh, and swipes up <laughs> uh, to invite uh, the brightest uh, and the best to apply. Then you have 60 days to perfect your application. So this would include um, uh, police clearances, all your references, all your assessments. You need to make sure that they're translated. Uh, and then once the application is submitted, then the government will process the application. And typically they do a good job of this. Uh, in I think 80% of the cases, they process in uh, six months. And how long does it typically take in the process? Give us an idea of the timeline. Yeah, that's sort of a difficult question to put your finger on because uh, you hear express entry and you think it should be fast. But many people will sit in that pool for months, even years, waiting to be invited to apply. So um, once you do get the invitation though, you have 60 days to perfect your application. And then the government does a pretty good job of committing to process the application once it's been filed in about six months. I think they process almost 80% of the cases in that time frame. So um, it might be express if you get that invitation right away. But if you're sitting in the pool waiting to be invited, uh, it could be a while. And for more information, could you share some reliable resources or support services that applicants can refer to? Yeah, so a good starting point would be the government website. So IRCC's website, um, lots of good information there. There's obviously um, blogs and lots of information on social media, but I think, um, this is an important step in people's lives and hiring a professional to at least do your assessment and get you pointed in the right direction. And in that regard, the Canadian Immigration Lawyers Association uh, would be a good place to look. Our website have all of our members uh, listed there. Well, that's wonderful information. Thank you, Barbara, for joining us today. You're welcome.